be like a celeb with Iceland. Welcome back to Amsterdam. Celebrity. Get me out of here. Time is 7.14 on Tuesday morning in Australia. That's a very efficient time. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Alan and I are here, that's him and that's me, uh, we're huge tennis fans. So I'd forgot. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real thrill for us to have Martina Navratilova over in this year's camp. Actually, so we've had a couple of games of tennis since we've been in those, haven't we? We have, I. Yeah. We are, I don't want to brag, but we are kind of tennis experts. We played yesterday, right? I took three wickets and scored 50 runs. <laughs> Game set and match to Ant. Yeah. So, being huge tennis fans, we're thrilled to hear more about the life and, and times of the game's greatest ever female player. Did you ever get big-headed? Not too. Not too. I was... I, was, I never forgot where I came from. I did think people were nice to me because I was nice, then I realized they were nice to me because of who I was. <laughs> Is that hard to swallow? That's hard, yeah. yeah. But then I also n realized I could be nicer. Yeah. So, but you know, I kept my feet on the ground pretty much, pretty well. So you've never been married or anything, like Brian was married, wasn't he? No, 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 no. I, I did have a boyfriend. My first, uh, you know, I lost my virginity with a guy. Yeah. So I was about 17. And uh, he was a nice guy, but it just wasn't quite there. And then when I was the first woman about a year later, I was like, oh, I'm gay. <laughs> it was like coming home. You know, it was like, really? Yeah. And it was clear. It was about, and that was my coming out. It was like... When you was 18? My life's not going to be as easy as... You know, it's going to be more complicated. Yeah. But that's what it is. And I never looked back. Physically, I could be with guys. Yeah. But emotionally, there's no... I just haven't fallen in love, you know, with a guy. Oh, okay. You know, those butterflies you get? Yeah. Never oh. had them with a guy. What was your fam... What did you well, family? They, they didn't know yet. They didn't ask until I was about 24. I wasn't going to tell them, but if they asked, I wasn't going to lie. So when they asked, I said it, and my dad went crazy. I wasn't happy for a while, but... He, uh, we never stopped talking, and uh, he read some books on the subject and realized that it wasn't anything that I did or that he did or anything like that, and he was cool with it. What about your mom? Mom was not happy with some of the choices that I made for partners, but she, I think she was kind of hoping, but she knew, and she, she was fine. Yeah. Did the press make a big deal of it? Well, it's like, okay, I had a seven-year relationship with a woman. We were practically married. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, we were married. And, and then they do a story on the house that we lived in in Aspen. And it's Martina's and Judy's love nest. Well, this is not our love nest. This is our home. It's that. It just drives me nuts. Sensationalizing what? The fact that I'm gay? Well, I'm, you know, I've been out for a long time. You know, it's not a big deal. But it was then. I mean, this is 25 years ago. Wow. So it's, it's gotten a lot easier now. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're still looking for that perfect mate. So we'll see if this is the one. I'm sure it is. <laughs> She's sweet. Beautiful. Is she? Mm, drop dead, yeah. Interesting, I hear Martina's dad re uh, read a lot of lesbian books to get up on the subject. You've read a lot of lesbian books out here. Research, Pat. <laughs> Research. <laughs> Time for the celebrity chess now and the chance for uh, the group to win a delicious treat. It could be a tiny piece of cheese mm. or half a mug of hot chocolate Ooh. or even an eighth of a chocolate brownie. Wow. And this one saw David chasing his very first chest. He was joined by Nicola and the two of them headed into the woods to get dirty together. Thanks for See you later. Later. <laughs> See you later. If a comes back on her own, she's very... Or <laughs> strangle me if he comes back on his own. Come on in. Don't Okay. I'm glad it's the first time I've done this, and I'm glad it's the first time I've done it with you. Oh, that's good. I hope you've been truthful, David. Yep, we're there. <laughs> keep up. Okay, you've proved you've got the longest legs, I know that, all right? Keep up, keep up. I'm trying to keep up. Here we go. Ooh, I hear water somewhere. Yeah. Well, well, well. Oh, look. Oh, what? We've got to find numbers. Numbers? There was all locks around the chest. We couldn't get to it. But we're not stupid. She is. I'm not. We looked across. We saw a jeep and it said, clean me. And I thought, you know what I thought? I thought, I bet there's numbers under that mud. I think oh, that's... no. Do you remember that movie where the girl that cleans the car, 
Jessica and guy, Simpson. And yeah, and he drinks and watches watch the drink of beer. You've got more chance in hell. You'll well. be cleaning as much as I'll be cleaning. David at first was trying to say that he wasn't going to clean the car. Well, there was no way in hell that was going to happen. As is you, I'll, I'll help out. What are you doing? I'm stripping. We're cleaning the car. We're not going to, you know. All right, if you're doing it, I'm stripping too. Right. You're getting your out, so am I. I actually rather enjoyed myself. I mean, who wouldn't? I'm a red hot blooded milk. You know, I can notice things or two. Can you see any numbers? No. I'll get the water, you scrub, okay? You're quite a good scrubber, actually, I'll tell you. Whoops, you lazy. Well, you know what they say about page three, girls, David? Yep, we know what they say. Yep. I just find him the most peculiar man, but I'm now trying to laugh at him rather than argue with him. Come on, I must be here. Come on, where are you? No, that's just, oh yeah, I've got a number. I've got Have a you? number. I've got a number. Uh, right, 8132. There's got to be one there, surely. This is going to take us hours. Yeah. This but is nice Robin! I've got another number. Oh, well done, well done. Keep on going. We'll just get them all and then we'll go and put them in. How many do we need? I think it's five. Five? Bloody hell. I've got one. Oh, well done, well Five, done. Five, seven, six, three. So we've got four now. What about wheels? What wheels. about the wheels? Wheels, yeah. I'll make it a wheel. Come on. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. I've got yes, one. You've got it. You've got it, Connie. Oh, you've no got it. It's true to say that Nicola and I were not better friends before we left camp, but we had actually patched a few things up, and uh, we're starting to get on the eye to eye. I'm not saying it's totally over. There's still a long way to go yet, but we are a lot better. <laughs> My bum, I couldn't believe it. I thought, no, you're actually not normal. Look, is that my bikini is running. I love you when you're angry. Oh, right, let's yeah, get back to when you're camp. Angry. Should we just clean, should we try and get some of this stuff off? <laughs> you're psychologically damaged. I'm scared of you. You are an absolute idiot. I'm a bit bemused, if that's the right word. That man is a raving lunatic. Seriously, I actually... I'm worried about his psychoanalysis because he can't possibly be normal. So you've seen another side to me, have you? I have seen another side to you. Today I'm getting all... There they are! Hey! Yeah. Please, be something good. Oh! Ooh. We got well, they gave well, me. Yeah! How are you feeling? Yeah! We yeah, had cool. to <laughs> clean a car and it was thick red mud, but I have to say he pulled his weight. Shocked, but he pulled his weight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And she was very good. Alright, so she was on the car. I know what the prize is then. Here right. comes the nasty question. My mum. According to the Klingon, Klingon language, language institute, institute, what does the Klingon phrase of out mean? I have the foggiest. Um, I mean, the two options just, were, uh, your mother has a smooth uh, forehead, let's read it out. or you've got erotic ears. Your mother has a smooth forehead as too many words. Robin, well, well, no, do you know, do you know any of those words? I don't know any of okay. those. Okay. I'm a Starfleet officer. Well, I don't know the first thing about the Klingon language. Do Klingons have spiky ears? No, they have this, these uh, bony uh, spines oh, over their heads. Okay. Uh, maybe. And, and forehead. And forehead. Yeah, there must be more. Right, let's more go with A. Yeah. Your mother yes. is going to be A. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a candy bar from Carol and Cody. A candy, candy bar. bar? A bra? No. Why not a candy oh, bar? You, if it, you eat them. Is it the candy sweet bra thing? They're so horny, these women, aren't they? They are. She is. That Carol is a nightmare. Yeah. Watch loose women. Yes, oh, Nicholas. look at that. Yes. Wow. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you put it on and we... Shall we <laughs> the prize was a sweetie bra. I hope it was in honour of me. And it was so nice. I really, really enjoyed it. But I've ate all my sweets already. I'm so greedy. They speak to me. I had them in a bag. I thought just have one or two at a time. Save some for tomorrow if you're still here. No, they call me. Nicola, eat us. Eat us. So I've eaten the whole bag. <laughs> the loose women. 
A bra made out of sweets. Have you ever heard of anything so stupid in all your life? <laughs> By the way, how are you getting on with those bread pants? Lovely, actually. Are they good? Really comfortable. They look comfortable. Really comfortable, yeah. They're wholemeal, yeah. Mm. Look nice. Uh, now, time for another revelation. Regular viewers will know that someone has spent the last few weeks showing off, behaving like an idiot and acting the fool. Just look big on TV. I you pay for me house. No, it's not you. Not you. That someone is just about to be rumbled. Oh. Mm. I'm going to jump in the bar quickly. But the team doesn't need me anymore. You know, we got, you know, love and harmony's broken out, and that's it, I'm off. Job done. Job done. And quite well, well done, true. if I do say so myself. OK, well, that's, you know, that's true. What are you getting in here? Yeah. Good luck.